Guys, this is me, Shahya Mubarak, on my channel, Hassan Ali, with another episode of my take. Well, yesterday, when it was quiet in the night, it was uh, after 12.30 here in Pakistan, when we saw news on internet that Mr. Joe Biden, Joseph R. Biden, have decided to sit down or opt out or drop out of the race of American presidential election in November 2024 and he said that it is in the best interest of his party and the country. Perhaps he realized in those isolated days and in the time he spent in isolation during COVID-19 struck him last week, he perhaps thought that I have done enough services for the people of America and for the services to the state of Israel. As the genocidal Joe formally announced on X that he is going to be sitting down from the contest, uh, from the contest of the 2024 presidential election in America, which is bound to happen in November and where Trump is his opponent, was his opponent, but he dropped out as the president out of the presidential race <coughs> that shows that man either was being told by the deep state that old man it's enough your services are no longer required although he was one of those senators who got huge amount of financial support from APAC and the Israeli lobby the man first came to the public life or the public image in 1973 when he first swore as the senator from Delaware. And then till 2009, he was consistently uh, uh, elected again and again senator from Delaware on Democrat Party's ticket. He was one of those senators who, who have sawn many presidents to go out and many to came in. And his staunch support to the Israel and the cause of Israeli state is evident from the funding he receives and the time he spent in the American Senate and the way he defended the state of Israel and called it Israel to be a gift for the American people and for the state of America, for also the United States of America. He has been continuous supporter of the state of Israel throughout his life as a senator, as in his political career, and then in 2009, when he was chosen as the vice president of America by uh, Barack Hussein Obama. He kept on supporting Israel and his famous statement is that that you do not need to be Jew to be a Zionist. He was not one of those who was the closest, uh, closest Zionist or the man who do not came out until it was required or it was too necessary or it was too damn obvious that he has to come out now. He was one of those who was publicly supporting Israel when, uh, wherever Israel was questioned. <clears throat> and also, as a president, he kept on supporting Israel. And from the month of the October last year, from 7th, especially 7th October, he kept on saying that, that Israel has a right to defend itself and Israel has a right to do whatever a country needs to do. This means or this was the green light or this amounts to the signal to the Israel that we are with you whatever you do. We will not going to stop you or trying to deter you or neither we are going to cut off your aid or supplying your weapons or the uh, supply of the weapons will be cut off by America. Because it was the President Joe Biden's behavior and his strong support toward the cause of Israel which makes sure 
39,000 people in Gaza so far have been killed by Israel. More than 89,600 people are injured in Gaza. People are dying in Gaza because of hunger. People are dying in Gaza because of the uh, a, a, a crossings have been blocked by Israel and no aid have been allowed to enter in Gaza. People are not drinking clean water. There is no water available in Gaza as I speak. People for, for days do not have clean water or sweet water to drink. But as the life goes on, Trump, uh, Donald uh, Joe Biden opts out. And as he opts out from the presidential election, he said he no longer want to be the part of elections. And as a what should um, uh, and the person he endorsed after he says that he is going to stand down, he is not going to enter in the presidential race or in the November's election. He opted out someone who is. Uh, familiar to him, uh, a woman, a first Asian African American woman to be the vice president, as you know, I'm talking about Kamala Harris, who he endorsed as uh, to be the nominee of uh, Democrat Party, the former vice president uh, Tr Clinton and his genocidal wife, uh, Hillary. She also throw her uh, weight behind her also she is uh, the black woman she uh, you know hit or fill that criteria of getting vote votes in the american election she's a black woman a black face a face of uh, ethnic minority also she is a hindu half hindu so she is a favorite candidate and she is being endorsed by the outgoing president Biden who was till last week defended by Miss Kamala Harris that he is the man and we are going with him but all of a sudden yesterday his heart he has a change of heart or maybe the state, uh, deep state told him that it's time for you to head back to your home so he endorsed Kamala Harris he is 59 years of age she is not as older as Trump is uh, also she is a woman and Trump's record against women as we know he has so many allegations against him when he first ran for the office in 2016 there were so many uh, allegations of sexual harassment of uh, different sort of things which he has done in past and because how he is there were so many women who came out that he molest them he groped them he did that he did that so Kamala Harris in that uh, pretext if we look she fits the profile because she is a woman and Trump is uh, a notorious character and putting him now putting her against him it's also become you know the 51 percent 51 percent versus 49 percent of the gender debate or the gender equality thing and the gender war so that's why democrats is going to pick her up because their national convention will going to happen in chicago in next month so she will be most likely to get all the delegates that uh, mr joe biden had Till yesterday they are all going to be transferring to him and let's see if there is another trick in the if, if there is another twist in the tail but I think Kamala Harris will going to be on the Democrat ticket and it will be interesting to see now who uh, she uh, now who she is uh, going to pick uh, as uh, the as the vice president nom nominee there are quite many people the <clears throat> many uh, governors who are in the race Chuck Schumacher also it will be interesting to see who she is going to pick uh, for uh, she is going to pick uh, her um, uh, going to pick him as uh, the running mate for this election because it is quite evident she is not going to pick a woman but she will definitely going to pick some uh, a man 
so it will be interesting to see who she is going to be pick also i think the uh, democrats factor that there there are huge number of hindu population in america so they factor in that you know indians and asians often have this sort of a habit when you present their faces their ethnic faces in big roles they tend to vote for uh, those parties like the liberal party did last year in britain and this year they miserably failed also i feel that if she elects she she won elections she will be more like rishi sunak she will not going to bring any change and her personal track record is not very good as a attorney general of california she was not very uh, you know being regarded as a good as a human rights champion her stance is not different from biden on the issue of uh, israel she is also a stone supporter and also a frequent visitor of apac meetings and she has also received financial help in her, uh, in her campaign when she was first elected in 2016 and senate uh, from california she uh, got good financial support from apac so her stance is not going to be different from mr joe biden or any other democrat or republican uh, uh, politician in um, in the american a political scenario and also it is my view she is a deep state candidate because she can be pursued to continue Biden's policies because Trump was in favor of getting America out from NATO getting America out from places where it has nothing to do and also it will be interesting to see as in uh, in this week i think or next week Netanyahu is also coming to America to address the Congress, so it will be interesting to see what happens there and who is in the, who will going to who he threw his weight behind. But it will be most likely that he will support or say good things about Kamala Harris as well because uh, Kamala Harris is right now also chairs the Senate as well. Also. lot of uh, praises came for biden around the globe especially i was a bit surprised when uk's prime minister mr kia sharma he said that uh, it is uh, the decision of american public who they are going to elect but we are comfortable to work whoever is going to be elected in the members election he actually do not have any ideological inclined as the jd wells thought of uh, thought of him he is more like to be the chair leader whoever is in the oval office whether they are republicans or whether they are democrats and it is highly likely that he will going to sing on the band of donald trump come next year also in the concluding this video israel kept on killing people in gaza as israel orders evacuation in khan yunus and the other areas and especially the khan yunus they announced or they uh, sent text to the people on their phones that they need to evacuate the safe zones from khan yunus and al masawi and after announcing this within few moments they there are artillery and this uh, there are artillery strikes and killed 57 people in khan yunus people were lying on streets people were lying in their tents because they didn't give people enough time after ordering evacuation they didn't give them an hour they just bomb on the people and it is not the first time that israelis are used to doing choosing or uh, uh, choosing this way or doing or op- opting for this modus operandi they are they have done it uh, before and they also today attack on alaksa mater hospital in deir al bala they attack the parking of that hospital and also a tent which was used by media it was um, fortunate that there were nobody in there in that media tank the missile hit that media tank the al jazeera team says that they were just 20 meters away but luckily they were not harmed there were no physical or life loss in that tent attack so israel is going it on its merry way as uh, the jo- uh, genocidal joes opts out of uh, the race of presidential election of 2024 and endorses kamala harris but we, uh, there will be no 
uh, you know, material or systematic change, whether it's Kamala Harris or Donald Trump, because their policy toward Israel and the genocide that Israel is doing in Gaza, they do not have anything different. The both parties are same. That's why I say do not vote for uh, Democrats or do not vote for Republicans. Vote for Cornell West. At least American people show that you don't want to be a stooge or a vassal state of Israel as the way Israel is uh, controlling your house, uh, your house of representative, your Senate. Jamal Bowen was booted out by Israeli APAC, um, uh, APAC's money because they supported the other candidate by giving him 15 million dollars. This amount of funding to opt out someone who is just a little critique of uh, Israel who says that there should be ceasefire, who is not like you know any leftist politician or anybody in America in whether they are in Senate or whether they are in House of Representatives, they never gave us a statement which clearly uh, critical which is even clearly critical of Israeli policies of Israel's genocidal war of Gaza or Israel's behavior in West Bank or Israel's land theft they always use those naive those soft words to condemn Israel but Israel is still not happy with people like Jamal Bowen with Corey Bush with many others who are facing apex candidate in this in their primary elections because it is not like over countries where you are the sitting MNA or MP of your constituency that you are going to be again sent no there are different stages there people choose their own uh, people in their district on the council level or the primary level so it is difficult so it says that if American people needs a real change and especially those students who kept out and keep on protesting, they should vote for someone new, not for these lights of Kamala Harris or Donald Trump, because they are the that uh, same. Uh, uh, they are the two sides of the same coin. They are not different. There is no oil ideological or any policy or any inch difference in their thinking about the world and about. The Palestine Israel issue. Long live Palestine from the river to the sea Palestine. Allah Hafiz.